happy valentine's day uh today is a holiday about love and about a saint that was martyred so i want to spend the day loving the martyrs in palestine and Bissan is not a martyr um you know we're all hoping that she survives this but i want to show her love because she has done so much for her people and the world and i hope that she feels all of the love that we have for her so please go follow this twitter user um they updated this thread about Bassan's latest live on tiktok um and i wanted to share with you because i think that sometimes part of the problem is we're getting a lot of information in one area that's not necessarily translating into other platforms and i think one of the most important things we can do is bear witness so this person is bearing witness to Bassan's live stream and I want to bear witness to the work that they did and also to Bassan. We have to keep talking, we have to keep sharing, we have to do everything we can do. So, um, according to Bassan, more than 100 people were killed during the strike on Rafa, uh, what people are calling the Super Bowl massacre. Um, I had somebody ask why we're centering ourselves with that name, and I think that's a really good point, but I also think that it's important to note that uh, Israel centered us by using the Super Bowl as cover in addition to using the Super Bowl for multiple propaganda moments. Um, and our government, the American government, centered us by having a secret meeting during the Super Bowl where they decided to send even more money to Israel, on top of the fact that the Super Bowl centered literal Zionists by having Usher perform, um, by allowing Israel propaganda to air, and by having people featured like Beyonce and Taylor Swift, who have not spoken out against the atrocities, and who both... Um, aired their movies in Israel, I believe. I know Beyonce did. I can't remember if Taylor did. Anyway, um, so the Super Bowl massacre, uh, more than 100 people were killed. Dozens are still underground. The 100 that are confirmed dead are just those that were found. Um, so it is most likely more. Uh, she is currently in Rafa. There's no other place to go. People are living in mosques which is terrifying because one of the first news reports I saw um, on a Sunday night was that they had hit two mosques, I believe. So that's terrifying. And you have to remember that this is where 1.5 million people are displaced. They're living in tents. They're living with multiple families in single apartments. So they hit, you know, one apartment building. It's not just killing a single family in each home it's multiple families in each home and then they're hitting mosques which is already a tremendous atrocity and i think a war crime but then people are living in mosques it's insane um there's no internet connection she's using e-sims so if you can donate e-sims please keep doing that she asked that we keep boycotting israeli products we keep boycotting brands that support the israeli regime um, and we keep protesting Please double check the BDS list um, and do as much as you can to boycott products that are contributing to this um, and to uh, draw, like, uh, put pressure on uh, companies like Disney. Disney's in the pressure side of the list. Um, some companies own so much that. It's nearly impossible to boycott them entirely, but that's why it's important to put pressure on them. She said, by doing these things, you're helping to change history. She's seen the people commenting her names on trending videos, and she says it's very smart. Um, and she says, keep doing what you're doing. I think this is a really good message to hear, especially from somebody in Palestine, because I've been going through moments of feeling really dejected and like I couldn't do anything to really help uh, and, you know, retweeting and reposting stuff doesn't feel like it's much, but bearing witness is so important. And I want to bring up the video, um, I watched 
the other day where somebody talked about Emmett Till and how his mother decided to have an open casket funeral after he was brutally beaten to death and it, the purpose of that was so that the world could bear witness to the brutality of racism. Um, so bearing witness can make a difference, can make a change, and I think it's empowering to the people who are going through this, so it's very important. Keep pressuring your government to stop funding the genocide. Um, I think pressuring the United States government is working to a degree, if only because some politicians are coming out and kind of pivoting on their position, at least verbally. They're still obviously sending um, aid to Israel and behind the scenes working with Israel um, and supporting the ongoing G side, but making them have to change what they're saying shows that what we're doing is getting their attention. Um, the IDF pretended to be nurses and women and executed three Palestinians looking for help. I also saw a video yesterday where apparently they sent a Palestinian um, captive into an area to tell the people that they needed to evacuate and then they shot him. So they're just, you know, evil through and through. Uh, she says the bombing has not stopped. This was, this was on the 12th, uh, so I don't know what the current state of things is, but with, by the time she made her live stream, she said the bombings had not stopped. Uh, some donations are getting to the south. It's not enough, but aid is getting there in very small amounts. She says she is not safe. No one in Gaza is safe. She feels helpless and stuck in this new reality. We are facing a genocide. So this got cut off at the top, but she said she's not sure that TikTok gifts, uh, if she can get the money from that, but she's going to look into it. Um, she said, the best thing you can give to an oppressed group of people is to hear them and to make them heard. So that, again, bearing witness is so important right now, especially as more and more people are getting fatigued from what we've been witnessing. And it's been four months. It's it's almost more important now to keep bearing witness because they expect us to get tired and give up and move on with our lives. And we cannot do that. Um, she says her family is safe, thank God. Uh, she has faith, but she is very tired, understandable. Everyone is under tents. She said, call your government and demand a ceasefire. So keep contacting um, your representatives, keep contacting the White House, keep, keep telling them that you want a ceasefire and you don't agree with what's happening and where our tax money is going to. She said there isn't enough food, so no matter how much money you have, you can't eat. Lord, uh, they have to wait to get canned food. She also launched a GoFundMe. Um, I will link her uh, TikTok on this video. Uh, I haven't checked to see if her GoFundMe is linked there, but I will try to find a link so that I can share it. She said when it gets back to its glory, you should visit Gaza. Um, somebody asked... What are you doing to help your mental health? And she said, nothing, we can't. She feels it is important to stay where everything is happening to be the voice of the people. So I guess that means she's not interested in trying to get out, which is scary, but she's, she's a hero. And I think we've all learned by watching her and watching her old videos that she loves her home and her people a lot. So it makes sense. Um, she said, from week to week, everything changes. And then somebody asked her about her name. Bissan is the name of the most ancient city in the whole world, and in Canaanite means the home that has lived, which I think just tracks with her loving her home so much. It also makes me think of why she's called Wizard Bassan on TikTok. She likes Harry Potter. Um, she said, the situation has been complicated since 1948. 1.5 million people are displaced. There isn't any bombing currently in Rafa, but there is in Khan Yunus. Okay, so they weren't bombing in Rafa at the time she uh, made her live, but they're still bombing Khan Yunus. She wants to tour the world and visit countries that support Palestine. I love that. I hope she gets to do that. And then she said, keep educating yourself. And this person linked the uh, UNRWA link, uh, which you should donate them because our governments have stopped their donations and a lot of Palestinians rely on the supplies from that organization.
Happy Valentine's Day, Bassam. Thank you for loving your land and your people so much and teaching the world how to do so too. I hope you feel tremendously loved today. From the river to the sea.